We've been building sickle bar headgears for about 30 years now. We build a lot of different configurations. This is our most versatile machine. Is this knife edge and this knife edge is based on a hand lopper cut. Okay. So in orchard, where we're trying to be as easy on the limb as possible, mm -hmm. that lopper cut, you know, is a nice clean flat cut is where the circular saw unit, you can cut bigger diameter, but when it catches that limb, especially small stuff, it rips it. It tears that cambrium layer all the way back down. So that's where you open yourself up to a lot more disease. Mm -hmm. So we thought with the sickle bar design, we'd eliminate a lot of that. Um, over the years, we're about the only sickle bar company left because of our drive mechanism. This, is, this machine has a 75 pound cam wheel with uh, machine uh, cam fowlers running opposite of each other so it gives us a three inch stroke is where everybody else ran it like a, a haymore conditioner with a pitman arm and when a pitman arm came up hard to something it would flex and then start snapping so you're always breaking those is where ours is locked in on v-roller so it can't go anywhere and so it gives us a lot of weight through the cutting motion okay. so we cut a lot bigger diameter than what most sickle bars ever could then we run a hydraulic relief valve so where so if it catches something bigger it just blows the relief valve and it's a matter of stopping the tractor and reversing the drive and either getting away from it or chopping it off it's self-contained it runs off a pto pump okay because uh, it only needs our our cutter head only needs between six and eight gallons a minute it's designed for inch and a half maintenance cutting and then what are these individual blades yep. that can be changed? Yep. They're bolted on from the backside. Each one of those is just a fine thread bolt holding it on. Okay. So you take your clamps off, your bolts and hook it to the push arm and they open up and there's a Torx uh, bit. Any idea what your hour life is on the blades? Um, depending on the material, as you can see, like I've, I've run these on some pretty rough material before and I break them a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, they're through hardened blade. We make them ourselves. You can sharpen them. You can put more aggressive edges on them. Um, yeah and they actually start to cut better once they get wore in. So they can work a little bit. Oh yeah. What do these guys run? They're about just under $20 a piece. Any idea what your life, hour wise? Uh, hour wise, no, but I have some guys, depending yeah. on applications, you know, anywhere from 500 to oh, wow. 2,000 acres on a set of blades. These, are, these blades are 3 16 thick and the uh, Magnum cutter bars are a quarter inch thick. Okay. You tell us what tractor you want it on and we'll figure out a way of making it fit. We build anywhere from uh, a three foot cutter bar up to a 15 foot cutter bar and they can all be put on pretty much all the models we build uh, build some real customized stuff for different whether it be nurseries and then we build some stuff just for say citrus or you know we build some machines also just uh, specifically for a special crop yeah, we so. have seven foot of side shift from side to side so i actually can go from the outside of that tire on the right hand side to the outside of the tire on the left hand side Yes, that's parallel. Yeah, that keeps it straight. What you're looking at here, that is a tilt forward and back, whether it be for transport or being able to kind of change the angle when you go up and down. Okay. And then we can rotate the cutter bar 360 degrees like a clock up here. Oh. side shift it from either side of the tractor so we're going to have about a seven foot window we can swing the cutter bar from outside a tire to outside a tire okay. so it doesn't matter which direction of travel we can always side hedge outside yeah. nice thing just find an old utility tractor 60 70 horse tractor just run slow not much i mean leave it on it i mean we have what we call our our standard cutter bar and then we have our magnum cutter bar this is rated at inch and a half diameter our magnum cutter bar is going to be closer to two inch diameter material and then is this a three point mounted system or a hard mount could do three uh, you could do this one this unit specific unit will tie in three point on some tractors but it still has to bolt underneath like where your loader frame would be okay just to make it more rigid okay you're reaching so high in the air you want to hook to the tractor pretty yeah, well yeah definitely you want to have that counterbalance yeah the, the, the nice thing with this this small tractor i mean it's not very big but it, there's a lot of weight you know it's yeah. down low to the ground low right. center of gravity then i have all four tires loaded with rim guards so exactly you like this running 60. no 25. oh really track you're just the head just the head yeah wow yeah 20 there's 26 on this model with that 10 foot bar you go into like a our most expensive hedger is a double topper for doing you know double tops double sides or whatever 
just a single double unit like this, and that's 45,000. Oh, wow. Yeah, the problem is if you run your cutter bar speed fast, you push material out of the way. Yeah, you know, it doesn't grab it. No, you want it, you got to let it come in and let the knives do the work. So you, if you run it fast, you'll just start kicking, you know, just on the very edge, you want it all the way in. That ability to flip that around and mm -hmm. hit that other distance up there is pretty cool. And it seems like once once the buffer is maintained, it, it can make a, a, a reasonable pass yeah. in a reasonable amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, once it's cut back and you have a hedgerow to work with, it's, yeah. you cover some ground pretty quickly.